<laughs> Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Borderlands the pre-sequel. Today we are back in the Claptastic Voyage DLC and we've got another weapon chest location guide. Today we'll be covering all the chests on the map. Cluster Overlook, which is uh, obviously Claptrap's little version of the uh, Highlands Overlook from Borderlands 2. So right away from the very start, head down the ramp and straight in front of you is a little tower which uh, has a doll chest sat right on top of it. Quite easy to get to, jump right up and uh, there you go, there's one chest already, there it is on the map. Next we're going to head towards the left hand side of the map, uh, that's where we just was and uh, this is the area towards where you go to the Holy Spirits and uh, obviously that little train line and things. On the left hand side, about halfway down, there's like a little cave thing covered by a big rock um, and uh, on the other side of the rock, um, like one of the pillars, as you can see, there is another dial chest, so there you go. And uh, after that, we're going to head towards uh, the Holy Spirits, in fact we're going on top of the Holy Spirits because there is a uh, chest right at the very top of it. Now, this one takes a bit of uh, getting to really, obviously if you've got a bada boom, and a sham, you can rocket jump up there quite easily like I do. You can also grenade jump up there and all sorts of things like that. But uh, basically you're going to be heading for the very top of the Holy Spirit. It's a little tower on top of it. And uh, the chest is nicely sat right at the very top of there. It's a little dial chest, uh, nothing amazing. But uh, make sure you pick it up while you're on the way. And uh, there is another chest in this area. But it is the uh, one time only open red chest. Which uh, will actually get you um, that uh, glitch splooger. Uh, weapon, but uh, I haven't featured that within the guide because uh, obviously it's a one time only chest. So, next we're going to be heading towards the uh, main part of Overlook near the grinder. And uh, if you jump on that building above the portal where it takes you to the Denial subroutine boss, um, just up here is another dial chest, as you can see right here. And uh, there it is on the map. And uh, after that, we're going to jump down, head towards the portal and uh, go for the Denial subroutine. Now we're not going to kill him um, on camera here, I do I think anyway, but uh, the reason we're going into this little area is uh, once you get there, as you can see, there is a red dial chest waiting for you as well, so uh, you can have a run in there and pick that up quickly and uh, try and avoid the uh, giant thresher, or you can take him down. He does drop glitch weapons, so it's always worth taking him down, but here we are, this is what we're here for, the actual red chest on the map, so uh, make sure you pick that one up. And uh, yeah, there you go. So after that, come out and run to the right hand side of the map. There's a few chests to pick up here. This is the area where that little mini boss to te ear worm actually is. So uh, we can pick up a few dial chests in his area as well, as well as take out to ear worm for the uh, legendary longest yard laser, which he has a chance to drop. But on this little floating platform on the right hand side, you'll see on the mini map there is a. Uh, a dial chest and uh, now we are into earworms area uh, he will spawn somewhere down there kill him and uh, then run to the right hand side and down here uh, in this little layer at the bottom is another dial chest sat just behind this cliff and uh, that is the second to last chest within this map and uh, we're going to head towards the very last chest now so uh, after you take down to earworm come over here jump on this little shack and then onto the cliffs and uh, after you get up here, oh missed that one, let's try this one again, there we go thank you bada boom, uh, there's another floating rock and uh, right on top of it is another dial chest so that is it, that is the uh, weapon chest location guide for this area, every chest complete pretty much uh, pick it all up and uh, yeah for such a small map there is a lot of chests really, there's two bosses to take on as well um, there's that glitch chest to pick up if you uh, actually haven't got that yet I'll put a link in the description to that glitch chest now so if you guys don't know about it you can go ahead and pick it up and I actually thought that was it but luckily before releasing this guide I actually decided to do some of the baddest rank guides and there is one called Fat Trap which uh, allows you to get into this little room here so there are three red lights on this room and to get into it you actually have to turn them green so what we have to do is uh, there's three locations, there's one there just behind Dave's uh, shack, there's one over there by Teddy or Worms area and there's one behind the Holy Spirits and basically there are um, pressure pads that you've got to butt slam down on and uh, when, when you butt slam down on them they turn one of them lights on. When all three of the lights are active you can get into that actual area and look at this, in the first location behind the Holy Spirits there is a chest that I actually missed right next to one of these uh, pressure pads so go ahead and butt slam down on that one 
and that will activate the first light and uh, yeah there is another chest so I'm really glad that uh, I actually did this challenge and found this because if not I would have had to come back and reshoot this whole video but luckily we can cover it now right at the end so uh, yeah there is a chest in that room that's the whole reason we're doing this one so as you can see uh, any second now there you go one of the lights is now active so the second area is just behind Dave's shack right over here and uh, I'll bring up map references for all three of these pressure pads. Jump down, slam on it, and that is two of the lights will be active there. So there is the uh, map location for the second area. And uh, like I said, the next area is right by that uh, little mini boss to here with. So uh, unfortunately, we've already been in this whole area and covered the chest. But I thought I'd leave this one right to the end as well because it is quite a real long one. And I didn't want to just incorporate it into the actual guide. I thought I'd leave it till the very end. So there is the third pressure pad to butt slam down on, uh, right at the very top of the map. And uh, yeah, from there you can run all the way back now to uh, that shack and it will be open and we will have our final chest of the whole area um, in there. Unfortunately, after doing all these pressure pads and all that, going into this room, you'd expect there to be a good chest in there. Unfortunately, you're gonna be disappointed. As you can see, it's open now and it's just one of those crappy green dial chests. So uh, not very happy about that, I could have put a nice red chest in there for us, but uh, there you go, there is the map reference. And uh, now I can honestly say I'm pretty sure that we have got every single one, but as usual, if you know any that I've missed, please be sure to let me know and I'll go back, refilm it and uh, put it back into the guide and give you a shout out for letting me know um, that I've actually missed one. But uh, after all of this, I'm pretty sure now that this is every single chest on the map cluster overlook. Um, so uh, yeah, like I said, there's loads of chests in this map and there's that big challenge to do to, well, not get much of a reward at the end with that cream dial chest, but uh, yeah, that is the fat trap little thing, so I'm glad I found that out before uh, I actually, you know, release this video. But uh, yeah, that's it anyway guys, web chest location guide, cluster overlook, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.